eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. My lovely people, my lovely people. Hello, 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 hello. Y'all, we're going to get right into this one. Because this right here, it tickled me and disgusted me at the same time. It's Miss Ileana. And when I say ill, I mean ill Iana Brown. Oh, my goodness. Did y'all see her self-care vlog? So, okay, we're just going to go walk through it, okay? We're going to walk through it like a little story time. So, she comes on here and she says... Hey, you know, my mom has the baby, and today I'm going to do some self-care. Today I'm going to do some self-love. I'm about to go to the spa, get my nails done. Then I'm going to show y'all how I shave, and I do this, and I do that. I mean, I was like, okay, finally now. Okay, when she was getting into it, I'm like, okay, girl, maybe you're going to go to the hair salon. Maybe you're going to go somewhere, get that little, you know, blonde dyed out, cut out, you know, get back to the little natural roots. I'm like feeling it. You know, I'm like, hey, I ain't going to fast forward, but I'm going to see what you're going to do. So as she goes in the car, her spa day starts off with a small fry and a cheeseburger. <laughs> her self-care spa day starts off with a small chai, <laughs> small fries, and cheeseburger from McDonald's as she sits in the car and picks a bump on her face and eats her food. I thought, what the heck is going on here? All right. Then all of a sudden she just starts talking about, oh, you know, I think I'm going to get a tattoo. I think I am. I think I am. So she just doesn't show herself, go get her nails done. Instead, she comes back in the car with her nails done. She has a French manicure and she begins digging and stuff with her in her car. I don't know what she was reaching for, if she touched the floor, the dashboard or what. But when she came back up, her fingernails were black underneath. I was thinking, my God, you just got them done. How dirty. I don't know if it was because she like scratched between her breasts. I don't know if it was sweat. I don't know what, but the nails were now black. And I just thought, okay, here we really go. How more trifling can this get? But it got more and more. It, it got worse. Y'all, it got worse. So she says, part of my self-care is to go and go get me a tattoo. Okay, I don't know what part of self-care is getting a tattoo. Now, I will say now, I have uh, quite a few tattoos myself. They're all professionally done. Um, I enjoy getting them done. The one on my foot hurt to heck. I don't think I would ever do that again. But I enjoy it, okay? So I was like, maybe that's part of her self-care. Maybe she going to, you know... Show us something new. Y'all, she gets in the car after getting a tattoo, goes to show us. She rips the tape part off. Okay, first off, flag on the play, flag on the play. You use a needle to get a tattoo done, so you will have blood beads. And they tell you, plus, I mean, common sense should tell you, when you go to take that paper off, it is because you need to now wash it with an antibacterial soap and then apply cream to it. But no, she goes to Dollar General, okay? She goes and gets some A&D cream. Actually, the A&D diaper rash cream, which I know some people use, but the clear petroleum is, you know, the best kind for a tattoo. But she goes in, she gets it, she gets in the car, she rips off the damn packaging with her mouth. She doesn't wash her hands at all. She doesn't even use a hand sanitizer and she squirts it all on her hands and gobs it all on her tattoo saying, Oh, it's a little blood. Y'all, I was like, this girl cannot get more filthier. Like, I I'm, I was just like, I, at this point, I'm laughing. I'm like, this has to be fake, right? Is Ashton Kutcher going to pop out? But y'all, just when you thought it couldn't get no worse, she goes home. Mm -hmm. And she says, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to get in the tub. I'm going to show you how I shave. Y'all, I can't make this one up. The girl got in the tub, okay? I'm not even sure if she took her drawers off because she was sitting there with that crusty bra and that nasty black tank top that she's had on for about four days. She sat in the tub with it on. With it on. And I thought, okay, maybe she's just trying to film. She shaved her legs with it on, sitting in bathtub water. She said, okay, guys, I'm going to go do my no-no parts. So I'm not going to... She just... I don't even know if she did her no-no parts because all she did was then shave her armpits. She shaved her armpits with the shirt on. So I'm like, okay, maybe she did some something off camera. Maybe I'm missing something. But then it turns nighttime. It turns nighttime and she's riding around trying to find another tattoo. 
But what struck me the most is after she did her self-care, get in the bathtub, wash half of my body, don't wash my face, don't wash my hair. I'm pretty sure she didn't touch her ass, but thank God it was sitting in some soapy water. She had the same shirt on that she just shaved her freaking armpits and set in tub water driving around in the middle of the night with a bra that was once white that has now turned cream and is beginning to peel off and stains on her shirt. Y'all, if you don't believe me, you just got to go watch it. Oh, now come on now. Come on. Mm -mm. This girl has had the same outfit on for about five vlogs. In a minute, when she takes it off, it's going to walk away. I think I've cracked the case, y'all. I really have. A lot of people say, well, why does she always have to go buy new clothes and don't just wash them and wear them? I get it now. This girl wears clothes so long that the stink and the stench sticks to it. And when she takes it off, they just run off. They're stiff as a board. They go running away. That's why she has to buy new clothes. She literally wears the clothes out. And let me tell you something. It's not like she's going somewhere, you know, really really expensive to where the clothes will last she goes somewhere like rainbow or city trends or walmart or some shit like that and then she rips the tag off and rips holes in them did y'all see her with her um whole one piece on and she's like yes it's already got a rip in the leg i'm sorry i ripped the tag out just cheap material but then when you sit there all day in your car and you sweat in it then you sit there and you run around all day getting tattoos you took a bath in your damn clothes this is a new one. Like, y'all y'all need to mark this down. She took a bath in her clothes, in her dirty clothes. She was eating a cheeseburger and mustard fell down and she left that clothes on with the mustard stain. This cannot be made up. I, You know what? At this point, I know she has to stink. Um, she said, I'm going to go show my boo my new tattoo. Mm-hmm. And I thought, whoever is sleeping with this girl, shame on him. Shame on him. Not only does she not have it together uh, mentally or physically, but um, hygienic wise. See, that just shows you that some people just have absolutely, and I mean absolutely, no cooth about themselves. Because if you go and visit your boo every other day, but you still have the same clothes on and he wants to lay down with you. Oh, I can only imagine what he smell like. Mm -hmm. Something in the buttermilk ain't clean. Something done went curdled. Something is real funky. Now, I know people around this girl has got to be wondering, why does she have the same clothes on every day? I wouldn't care what kind of mother I was. I don't know what kind of mother she has, but she sees her mother, her grandma, and her sister on a daily basis. And if they see her with the same clothes on, I almost wonder, and I highly doubt it, but I wonder if they even say, girl, can you change your clothes so um, you don't stink, so that you don't have stains on your clothes? Y'all, this one about took me out. I hope y'all seen it. And I hope y'all can tell me what y'all thought about it. Because this is a new one. Mark it down, y'all. This is a new one. She took a bath in her clothes. Huh. Y'all, I'm going to see y'all in the comments.